This is so cool. So now what are we looking at? We're going down the road here. 3D heads up display, which I did not expect it to be 3D. This is this is actually much cooler. All right, we are headed to the CY Vision booth to check out some of the most practical tech here at CES. So come with me. We're going to check it out together. Presented by the United States Air Force. I'm here with CEO of the company, Sandy Ulri, and we are going to get walked through, well, driven through this 3D augmented reality heads up display. So what am I looking at right now? So what you're looking at right now is a road scene. Head up display has been in the cars for the last 10 years. It's a very small field of view. You can't use it much. So what we have done is that we have brought the three-dimensional and augmented reality. What we do is that we augment the reality with the virtual objects. So what it does is that the big thing in the automotive is safety. So we are adding the safety element. Humans are designed to look up. So when you look up, everything is right in your field of view. You're not looking down on the, all the other screens. Also, we are giving you turn by turn navigations. Uh, when you start to turn, we show you some 3D arrows where the car is moving. And what sort of sensors are being employed to get this 3D uh, look at like a cityscape? So we don't use any sensors. We get the information from whatever the sensors are in the car. So we get all the information that's in the ECU. But the way the technology works is that it constantly tracks your eye pupils because we want to see where you are looking at. And what we do is that we create a 3D image, one image for each eye, and we essentially trick your brain to say it's a 3D. So what you need to do is so uh, for it to work, you need to have most new cars now have something called DMS, Diver Monitoring System. So the camera has to be looking at where you're looking at. So the HUD is designed for a specific windshield for a specific car. So you cannot, we are not in the business of retrofitting, but it's all new cars. Okay, so my 1977 Ford F-150, not gonna work? No. Not yet, at least. So, Are there any other uh, advantages to this system that you wanna talk about? Yeah, so it's uh, the big field of view that you get from our technology. It's 15 by four. It's the largest that available in the market. And what we do is for the given volume, so we have reduced the volume of the head-up display, the enclosure, by about 40% and increased the field of view by about 50% for what's right now available in the market. And when will this be out on the streets? When are we gonna start seeing this sort of tech? So we are working with uh, some OEMs. We're looking at 2026 and beyond. Very cool. It's really dramatic how much of a difference the 3D makes. You wouldn't think it does, but then it also, at the same time, it, it makes so much sense that I'm really surprised that it's taken this long. When something is three-dimensionally, you know, if you're doing a navigation and the arrow comes up and you see like it's actually way farther down there on the road, so you know, hey, now I've got to go there and it's getting closer and it feels like it's real. It's, it's augmented 3D reality heads-up display. It's really cool. Uh, we want to just want to bring the whole safety element, the convenience. And I also want to say that we want to ride this wave of autonomy. So right now, the cars are ADAS, L1, L2, L3. Eventually, when the cars start to become L4, when your eyes, hands, mind is off the road, then we can provide you more information on the screen. Now think of that, you can do e-commerce while sitting in the car. I do e-commerce every day, so that'll be perfect. Awesome, well, thank you so much. Thank you. Okay, we've seen a lot of 2D heads-up displays here on the floor of CES, but that was the first 3D augmented reality heads-up display that I've seen, and honestly, it was really impressive. Anyway, there are a million other things to go see on the floor of CES, so I'm gonna go do that right now. And remember, for everything tech, keep it right here on IGN. <laughs>